Hey guys, I hope you're having a good day. Um, as you can see, I'm outside again. I'm using my microphone, so hopefully the wind will not be too disruptive. It is a bit windy out here, to be honest. Um, but nice to be outside and the weather is amazing and fresh. So um, today's topic is called a Royal Pity Party. I decided to name it that because um, we saw a very explosive Royal Pity Party um, that happened just a couple of weeks ago. Um, where we had some very blessed people where probably half the world population would give their kidney to be those people give a kidney and um, yet they still felt that um, that life was uh, had dealt them a very very bad hand um, but I'm actually not here to talk about that and I know that what I'm saying is not very popular at all um, but what I'm actually just want to talk about is self-pity coming from a different type of royalty and that is you and me we are royalty in the family of God there's a scripture that says that we are a chosen people um, a royal priesthood a holy nation set apart that's who we are that's amazing um, something we can be excited about and there's so many promises that we can apply to our lives um, in the Word of God so many spiritual principles we can apply to our lives in the Word of God um, so much we have access to in the Word and the Spirit and in relationship with God. But yet we see most people are not walking in that or walking towards that because they don't know their Word. They don't have that intimate relationship with God. And that affects their entire lives as it would. And so today I want to talk about self-pity. I talk about this in the j -Rev program in so much detail. So if you've done it, you, you will hear me talk about it over and over again. Um, but self-pity is a dangerous and poisonous emotion and I want to look at the people of Israel um, in the desert who experienced so much of God, God's miracles and they saw him part the Red Sea and saw him do so much he literally was sending them food from heaven but yet they complained and criticized God over and over again and nothing was ever good enough okay and just to think that they'd seen God's hand so much and God was even promising them something amazing that they would be excited to walk towards that thing and enter into that thing yet they complain and grumble against God and God saw that as very very sinful okay what was the consequence of that you know no matter who you are where you are if you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior you're a child of God and you will receive salvation you will you have access to that relationship with God, your sins have been forgiven. But you know what, you can lose out on promises in your life by entering into something like self-pity. What happened to Israel? I'm busy reading the book of Numbers. God said to Moses, how long can I contend with these people that are complaining and complaining who were actually a very blessed people? Yeah? And guys, there's all these mental health issues all over the place. People are struggling with suicide, struggling with all of these things. But a lot of it is self-inflicted in terms of the way we think, the way we regard ourselves, when we feel sorry for ourselves. Of course you're going to get um, depressed. Of course you're going to be in mental um, distress. Okay? That is why it's so important to understand the truth of the Word of God so you can counter those lies with the truth. Okay? But what was the consequence um, to Israel complaining and feeling sorry for themselves? Um, God says to, to, to Moses that they will not enter into their promise. He never said he would reject them as a people. They were still his people. Yeah, God will never reject us if, even if we complain all day long. But the consequence, the consequence is that we may not enter into the promises of God in our lives. Self-pity is very serious. It comes with very serious consequences. And self-pity is extremely, extremely addictive. Okay? And a lot of people who are, um, you know, who, who are addicted to self-pity will also surround themselves with people who are also just as addicted to self-pity. And you know what, guys? Um, you're not helping yourself and you're not helping anybody by sitting around and feeling sorry for yourself. Okay? Um, all of those things that you think you are, you're not. Because you know what? There are mighty promises in the Word of God about your life. The Bible says that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Um, the Bible has so many promises for your provision, for your blessing, for, for the love that God has for you, for the purposes that He has for you. Yeah, but most of the time we can only look at the things that are going wrong, the things that we don't have, comparing ourselves to other people, comparing ourselves um, to those who maybe have more than us. And this is something we, 
we have to be very very careful of this has serious serious consequences okay we really need a change in perspective we need to really enter into the truth of the word of god we really need to take our relationship with god seriously and we need to actively fight self-pity when self-pity comes yeah call it out yeah stop stop finding scriptures that you can claim that um are in complete opposition to those self-pity thoughts that are coming into your mind yeah you don't achieve anything through self-pity it causes heartache it causes pain i'm sure many people are led to suicide through it um, but you have the power you are wonderfully made you have the power in your soul to decide you're not going to give into that that you're going to focus on the truth and you know what you can live an amazing overcoming life that doesn't just bless you but that blesses other people and in my next video i'm going to talk about gratitude and looking at a perspective of life looking at life with a perspective of gratitude yeah um it can really change how we how we see things and how we see our own situations i used to be a person that really suffered with self-pity a lot uh, especially when i was younger but i remember once going on a church mission trip and i went and i was among people who had hardly anything i mean literally hardly even the basics to survive and i just realized and these people didn't complain they they weren't feeling sorry for themselves they made me feel so welcome um and you know what i just realized half of the things that i feel sorry for <laughs> that i'm in self-pity for half of the things um that i'm sitting there feeling uh, sitting around feeling sorry for myself for are just actually non issues there's bigger issues out there and guys can i tell you one of the most powerful ways to counteract self-pity besides reading the word besides um spending time with god is to go out and help somebody who has less than you go do something for somebody who can't repay you um go and go and visit the sick go visit an orphanage go and collect clothes um, go visit somebody who 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 who, who needs a, a listening ear who maybe lost somebody and forget yourself for a minute yeah you know what the quickest recipe uh, for misery is to think about yourself all the time to feel sorry for yourself all the time if you want to counteract that start volunteering do something for others help somebody who can't pay you back yeah but very importantly get your relationship with god right and start understanding what the word of god says about you and what those promises you have access to all of that stuff that's in the word it's powerful but you have to access it yeah and guys if you start doing this you can overcome self-pity and you can walk in those plans and purposes that god has for your life and you do not have to shortcut things in your life because of self-pity you block stuff in your life when you feel sorry for yourself yeah you block it but i want i don't want that for you guys i want you guys to to be in 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 states or an attitude of gratitude um something that's said often attitude of gratitude i want you to 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 stop looking at your circumstances and seeing how you can help somebody and maybe you can't help somebody financially but there's something you can do for somebody um that can that can help them and bless them okay so guys thank you so much for listening um let us avoid those pity parties and feeling sorry for ourselves and i will see you very soon thanks god bless